Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to another TV box review. For today I have a new TV box from China called the Kulimi MB2. This one here has Damlogic S912, 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, dual band Wi-Fi and of course running Android 6. It costs around $55 so it's not an expensive TV box. Let's see what comes with it and then let's see how it performs. Let's begin. First of all we get a fairly simple um, cardboard box, on the box we don't really get any information and to the side here we just see some specifications about the device itself. Inside we find the same uh, remote control that we've seen on a lot of TV boxes, this one takes uh, two AAA batteries and I do recommend using a wireless keyboard and mouse for a better experience. We also find a power adapter, a very very short HDMI cable, and lastly the user manual. The user manual is in English, has a couple of pictures and uh, if this is your first Android uh, TV box this manual could be useful. Now the TV box itself. So it does look a bit different than most TV boxes. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the B-Link GT1. However, this one it's um, a bit bigger. So onto the front here we just have like a face of a tiger or something and uh, the brand name. Even though you can't see it at this time there is a white LED somewhere around here. Onto this side here we have a slot for an SD card and a port uh, for an USB. Onto the back we have the optical audio port, we have the network adapter port, the HDMI, a second uh, USB port, so we only have two USB ports onto this uh, Android TV box, and lastly the power adapter port. And turning this around we're gonna notice that the back doesn't have any holes, so it could get a bit uh, warm but the Amlogic S912 and the S905X don't seem to get that hot. As soon as we turn on the box we see their brand name and after about I don't know, 20 seconds or so uh, the box will start up, so it doesn't take a long time to actually start up. And of course this is their boot up animation. And this is the launcher that we get um, with this particular device. So we've seen this launcher on many many TV boxes. The good thing about it is the fact that we have um, the navigation bar at the bottom of the screen. Therefore we also have the notification tab on top. Let's start by checking out what apps come pre-installed with this. So we don't have a lot of apps. First of all we have this app for TV right here, an app installer, a browser, um, this movie player, Miracast, Kodi, Kodi Mate. This is basically an app uh, where you can install apps, uh, not apps, add-ons onto Kodi. So it makes uh, Kodi a bit easier to use for uh, basically beginning uh, users. We also have the Play Store right here, the settings app and uh, an update uh, app. Moving on to the settings app, so the settings app it's um, right here, at network here um, you can either connect to the Wi-Fi or through a wire. And since we are here let's check out the speeds through a wired connection and through Wi-Fi. So on the speed test app we get a download speed of about 99 through a wired connection. On the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network we get a download speed of about 33. And on the 5 GHz Wi-Fi network we get some really amazing speeds. So uh, this is one of the best uh, TV boxes for uh, Wi-Fi that I had in quite a while. So really really good speeds on Wi-Fi. Back to the settings app, here at display you can basically change the screen resolution. This will be different depending on the TV that you have uh, connected to the TV box. Uh, at screen positioning you can zoom in or zoom out the screen and we also have an HDR mode. So I'm gonna go back and uh, here at sounds you can select digital sounds. Uh, I was testing out the 5.1 uh, sound earlier so Dolby Digital and uh, DTS. For DTS if you are using Kodi the sound will cut in and out every couple of seconds. If you are using the player that comes with the TV box, so this player uh, right here let me show you the player. So if you use this uh, movie player right here, DTS uh, files will work very good so the sound doesn't cut in and out and it's the same for um, Dolby Digital. So if you are planning to watch movies with DTS and Dolby Digital you will have to use this movie player because um, if you use Kodi the sound will cut in and out. And back to the settings app once again, at apps here we can see what apps um, are pre-installed, so Kodi it's pre-installed and uh, we can check the version and it's Kodi version 16.1. At storage and reset we'll get um, in a bit, at languages here, so I'm just gonna open languages and I'll scroll through them, these are all the languages available onto this uh, particular device. 
so a lot of languages like most of these TV boxes so those are the languages available we do have uh, Bluetooth onto this uh, TV box so you can use a gaming controller that uh, has Bluetooth connectivity so I'm gonna go to more settings now and this is how the more settings uh, looks like and that's storage and USB so out of the 16 gigs um, that comes with a TV box um, we get about 10 left uh, after the operating system so that's not too bad and uh, you can also install an SD card onto this uh, TV box because we have Android 6.0 and that means that you can just install an SD card and uh, all of a sudden uh, you're gonna have uh, more internal memory so you're not gonna be running out of internal memory anytime soon and since we are talking about uh, internal storage let's uh, check out the speeds for the internal storage and the RAM for the internal memory we get a reading speed of about 49 and a writing speed of about 24 so not the absolute fastest speeds and this is the speed that we get for the RAM and back to the settings app one last time at media box here um, we can see the model number which is the mb2 the android version which is android 6.01 and the latest security patch is coming from june 2016 for those of you that are interested this device comes with root access from the factory and of course for the ones that um, are also interested this is the digital rights management app so this is going to show us um, what's available again you're not going to be able to watch netflix in hd onto this uh, tv box and any other tv box for that matter the google play store also works really good uh, onto this device so you can install basically any app that you search for and uh, i haven't had any issues installing any single app also, I wanted to check the multitasking, so I do have a couple of uh, apps running in the background. So let's uh, check this one, for example, and see if it has to be refreshed. No, so it uh, still works in the background. Let's uh, see what happens if we press, click on Kodi. So the same thing. So it's uh, still running in the background. So very, very good uh, to know that apps don't get killed as soon as uh, they end up uh, in the background. And this, uh, this is the same. So very cool. Uh, thing because most uh, not most but some tv boxes do close the apps that are running in the background okay starting with the antutu benchmark here we get a rather normal score of about 36,000, and here at info we can see some more details about uh, this particular device continuing with the geekbench 4 we get a multi-core score of about 2239 and a single core score of 456 and down here we can see some uh, system information and some more information about the test itself. And for the last benchmark test on the iStorm Extreme we get a score of about 6100 and down here we can see some more details about the score. So we have Kodi 16.1 um, onto this uh, Android TV box and uh, you can update Kodi right from the Play Store and this is a really good thing because this way you just press update and you don't really have to do anything. So a really good uh, feature. So I'm going to open Kodi now and uh, we'll check it out. So I'm going to go to system here and system info. Here I'm just going to scroll through this. Hopefully some of you are interested in uh, any of these. So this is all we get there. And we do have some add-ons that come pre-installed. So let me go to videos here, add-ons. And uh, these are the add-ons that come pre-installed. But uh, if you remember, we have that Kodi Mate app and uh, it's basically very easy to install any add-ons from there. So I'm just gonna open a random string from here. Let's um, try this one. So let's open this one, this one. I just wanna see a random one and see how well uh, it does. And I'm connected uh, through Wi-Fi at the moment. So I'm not even uh, using the cable for the internet because it goes so good on uh, Wi-Fi as you can probably tell it started right away and uh, it does go very very smooth so I don't see any reason why Kodi wouldn't do fine uh, for this device and since I'm already here let's check out some files and see what works and uh, what doesn't I already tried this so I kind of know um, which one it works this one does do really really good so no matter what you skip uh, it's gonna go very good and as I said before, if you are planning to watch uh, videos with DTS sound, uh, you're gonna have to watch them uh, with that movie player that comes uh, pre-installed. Because uh, with Kodi it cuts in and out. So this file works really good. 
moving to the next file um, which is this uh, 4k file so as long as, as soon as i'm gonna open this um, the screen will get black and uh, that's it so i'm gonna have to exit Kodi because there is no other way around it so we can get um, this file to work so let me open Kodi once again moving to the second 4k file so this one uh, here this one does work takes a second or so at the beginning but it does do really really good uh, afterwards so only the first one uh, 4k at 60 frames per second didn't uh, do okay this one uh, as you're uh, probably expecting does uh, excellent so i'm just gonna scroll through them so very very good no issues the following one it's this one and um, this one works uh, really good as well i'm gonna skip at the end here and as I was saying, uh, it does uh, fairly good. However, I'm not sure why it's not totally crisp. So it doesn't look like uh, 720p resolution for um, some reason. So that's uh, with that particular file. This one uh, will do fine as well. And again, uh, we don't get the high definition for some reason. So even though it says uh, 1080p and it's set to 1080p, it doesn't uh, seem that clear. It, seems like with pixels and stuff so uh, i'm not sure why that is we'll check this uh, again in uh, that uh, movie player that comes pre-installed so uh, this 4k file this one works uh, okay so no problems with the pixels or anything so it does uh, do very good moving on to the following file this one will not actually start so you cannot play this file no matter what you do and let me try this uh, 1080p and this one does uh, do very good and I just wanted to see if it's uh, clear or not. So those two files were not uh, totally clear for some reason. So let's exit Kodi. Let me open uh, this uh, movie player, wherever it was. So right here. We'll go onto the USB stick and let's try those files. So I believe one of them, it was this one. So now it's uh, totally clear, before uh, you've seen it was like all pixeled and stuff, so there must be an issue with the optimization on Kodi. So this one works uh, fine and uh, the previous one that uh, I watched was, which one? I think it was this one and I just wanted to see if it's clear and again uh, it's clear with this player. So there are some software optimization issues with uh, Kodi and if we try um, that uh, file again the 4k at uh, 60 frames per second let me just open this once again mm, that file it's this one here again we get the exact same uh, black screen that uh, we got before so we can get this file to work i have miracast open the we are connected to that 5 gigahertz wi-fi network so if you open the gallery and uh, scroll through pictures uh, it's done fairly good no issues uh, whatsoever and uh, the quality seems really really good so very very easy to do and uh, it does work really really good i've also used the browser and i haven't found uh, any issues with it whatsoever scrolling up and down it's done uh, pretty good you can open articles and everything uh, seems to be okay i mean you can read the text and uh, no issues whatsoever with the browser the youtube app you'll have to download from uh, the google play store the maximum resolution is 1080p and it does seem to work uh, fairly good so no issues uh, whatsoever so i'm just gonna try to maximize this so let's see if we uh, get that so you can see it uh, on the entire screen so yeah the youtube app seems to do very very good at 1080p i have fifa 16 uh, going and uh, as you can probably tell uh, it does go very very good so let me try to score a goal here for once Oh, and I absolutely suck. So uh, we'll try that again. Oh, look at that. I don't even know how I've done that, to be totally honest. But yeah, FIFA 16 and uh, most games that uh, you're going to be trying to play on to this uh, 
particular device will do really really good. The S912 it's a fast processor, uh, no doubt. And it's time to conclude this video. So even though we've never heard of this brand before, the launcher it's nothing special. I mean it is rather boring, you can't really change anything. All these are actually folders, so if you click on this uh, it's actually a folder. You can add some apps here uh, at the bottom by clicking the plus button and then you can just add uh, anything that you want. But the overall the launcher is nothing special. If you want you can install another one so you can go to the Google Play Store and for example get Nova Launcher. So this is how uh, it would look with Nova Launcher. So it really depends uh, on uh, what uh, your preference is. For example I like this uh, look more than the other one but um, again everybody's gonna be different. So the Wi-Fi works really really good, I didn't actually have to use the cable at all because everything works really good over Wi-Fi, Miracast works, everything pretty much works except that um, 4K file at 60 frames per second. So I would say that this is a rather rather good uh, TV box, it's pretty much one of the best uh, S912 boxes that I've uh, found so far. I mean that Beelink GT1 can play that uh, 4K file uh, better but um, realistically you are not gonna use that many 4K files. Alright guys, uh, if you do have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, hopefully you like the video and you can press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.